So today I'm going to show you how you can get an animated or video desktop wallpapers for your Mac. So something I like to do from time to time is to go out and to find new places to explore. And since I've been in the state of Idaho, there's been no shortage of places to go out and to find. And so one of the places I went out to recently was a place called Stanley. It's an extremely small town and it's right at the base of what is known as the Sawtooth mountain range. And so what I would typically do in the past when I would go and explore these various places was I would go out and I would take a bunch of pictures. But as time went on, I discovered that I was a little bit more drawn to video for whatever reason that might be. I like to capture footage. There's just something about the movement, about editing clips together, and it just seems to be a little bit more visually interesting. And as it turns out, I don't think I'm really alone in that sentiment that I just kind of prefer video over a photo. I think that's why you have social media apps like Instagram shifting their focus from photos over to videos. I think that's the same reason why YouTube is so prolific and you've got social media platforms like TikTok exploding. Now, while I personally have my qualms and my problems, with portrait style video. Video itself, nevertheless, is quite prevalent in today's culture, particularly on the internet. So that recently got me to thinking. Now it's something that you might consider mundane, but it is desktop wallpapers. Because something I used to do a while back, whenever I was out on a hike or whenever I was exploring one of these new places, is I would snap a few pictures if it was serene and picturesque enough, and then I would use that as my desktop background. But it just dawned on me one day. It was like, well, why are we still using still images for our desktop wallpapers? Is that just a little bit bland or boring? So I went on a little bit of a hunt and I found out that there's a number of apps available. There seems to be more for Windows and maybe we'll do that in another video. But there's also some for Mac that allow you to use a video or an animation for your desktop wallpaper. Now, the cool thing about the one that I'm gonna show you today is that if you are an animator or if you are a videographer, you can upload and use your own videos. But if not, or if you don't wanna go through the trouble, which I personally don't yet, I may eventually, but they have a, a vast library of videos and animations that you can choose from, and they're all created by the community for free. So they've got a large database of vast swath of creators from around the world who upload their own creations that you can download and use as your wallpaper for free. Okay, but without any further delay, let's take a quick look at an app by the name of iWallpaper. Okay, so here I am on the Mac App Store and I have an app brought up called iWallpaper Live Wallpaper. So you are able to download this for free. However, I've paid for the pro version because I think there's a number of different limitations to the free version. I think they watermark it or they limit some of the features. I can't remember exactly which since I've actually been using this for a little while now. But if you wanna unlock all the features, you just wanna make sure that you do the in-app purchase of the pro version. But let's go ahead and bring this up. And even before I do that, you can kind of see I already have one of those wallpapers here selected. Pretty amazing, there was an artist that just went ahead and created and uploaded this. Essentially, all it is is a looping video, but a lot more fun to look at than your standard desktop wallpaper. So they've got trending, they've got what's new, they've got my favorite. So I've actually gone through and I've begun to 
curate my own list of ones that I really liked. And because these are user submitted, you do have to keep in mind that they're user submitted. So anybody can upload almost anything that they want. So you're gonna find a lot of things that maybe you don't like, maybe you do, maybe you don't think really is best for work or whatever the situation. But you do have to know that these are uploaded by individuals who are choosing to upload them. There's no specific company or anyone or a big entity that is going through and curating these. These are people uploading their own. And like I said, if you're a visual artist or if you're a videographer, you can upload your own as well. But essentially, once you're in here, you can go through and you can pick which ones you want to have showing up uh, in this particular feed so we've got trending so again that's just what a lot of people are downloading they've got the new section so there's just whatever is the newest the latest and greatest of whatever everybody's uploading you can refresh them as well and then you can have your favorites you can also go through here and you can select different categories so if there's things you're interested in or things you're not interested in you can check or uncheck those for the most part i've messed around with this a little bit but it doesn't seem to be curated or organized the best way and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is user generated so they're getting to pick which categories they have and so that's why i think even if you check and uncheck some of these you won't necessarily get the most accurate results you can also search but it's probably easiest to just kind of browse through what's new or what's trending and then just bookmark the ones that you like they also have some options here based upon the type of screen that you have so if you've got a portrait monitor you can select that here if you've got a wide screen or ultra wide screen you can select that and they also have some that have sound. So by default, sound is turned off, but if there's you know running water or music or something in there, you'll be able to decide whether or not that actually is a part of your desktop wallpaper. So I'm gonna jump back into my favorites. And then once you've picked one that you like, all you have to do is there's a download button. I've already downloaded all of these, so I don't have to do that, but you just download from their database of all the, the wallpapers or from the wallpaper engine, and then you just set it as your wallpaper. And so then as you can see, it's just a nice video that plays in the background. One of the things you will wanna keep in mind is that some of these do have a pretty significant amount of movement. So if you're somebody that gets like motion sickness or you know, if, if you have seasickness and you've got giant rolling waves, that might not be the best. So there's a fine line bef between finding something that adds a nice element, extra element to your desktop and some that are just downright distracting. So you will have to kind of play around and find, find out which ones you like. They've got some really nice seasonal ones. Here's like a nice cafe. It's not really moving other than you've just kind of got like some rain and leaves falling in the background. So a lot of really amazing artistry that's actually been put into a lot of these. And like I said, they're, they're totally free because people are just kind of voluntarily uploading and creating each of these. So here's a good example of one that's pretty basic. The movement is very minimal. You could almost say this one almost borderlines, just a regular desktop wallpaper, except for the very subtle raindrops you can actually see falling and then the ripples that are kind of in the background. We've got some nice time lapses that have been taken. This is probably similar to what I'm going to be uploading eventually is probably some of the time lapses I've taken of downtown Boise. Here's another one that's very minimal in its movement. So a lot of different options. These are just some of the ones that I've personally bookmarked and I think I've just kind of added a little extra touch to kind of the user experience at least for me just keeping it fresh in terms of that desktop wallpaper and not just kind of the stale static image that comes default with your Mac. Now in terms of the settings they do have options here I've just got a single monitor attached but if you've got multiple monitors you can actually change so it'll show both monitors here so you can have one wallpaper for one monitor you can have a second wallpaper for a second monitor and you can also go through here and change some of the the settings that they have so energy settings so if you're on a laptop and you're worried about battery life you can actually have it disable wallpaper engine once it gets down to a particular percentage of battery one of the things that you will want to keep in mind is that since this is an engine this is an app running in the background it's going to take up some of your computer's resources so if you don't have a pretty decent gpu and cpu and memory in order to just have this running in the background you might want to think twice about actually using this but that's pretty much it this is just a really cool tool that i'm going to be using on pretty much all of my macs moving forward as i mentioned this isn't necessarily like a productivity tool in fact you might argue it's kind of the 
opposite, particularly if you pick desktop wallpapers that distract you. But I'm somebody who likes to change the scenery frequently, hence why my sets and why the places that I record are constantly changing. But it's just a little bit more visually interesting and visually stimulating than just having a standard photo, particularly one that came with your Mac. And the good news is that because it is a community that's creating and curating all these, you pretty much have an endless supply of different looping or animated or video backgrounds that you can pick moving forward. So as always, if you found this video interesting or useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.